just want to experience something different. I've worked in a hospital for the past year and I just want to see what else is out there. Well, welcome to Bethel. Thank you. The population here is about 6,000. Bethel is the hub village for 56 native villages in what's called the Yukon Kuskokwim Delta, which is the YK Delta. And here we are at Public Health Nursing. All of these um, labeled villages, um, all through this map, which includes this whole area, is where the nurses out of the Bethel Public Health Center travel to to provide services to the people in all those villages. This is a very handy uh, and important thing to take along. And this is your survival gear because, you know, you're flying in small airplanes and therefore um, you will need, in case you crash, you got to have some stuff to help keep you stay alive. <laughs> We are taking a trip to Russian Mission. Uh, we are going to uh, introduce Colleen to itinerant travel. My first trip to Russian Mission, I guess what I told everybody out there is that I want to get a lay of the land and that I want to meet the, um, some of the key people in town to know how that we can better partner with them in the future. Passengers check in for flight 190 service to Russian Mission. That flight is continued on hold. We'll have an update in half an hour. Well, they just announced that the uh, flights are on hold due to weather, which is really common. Uh, summertime, the rains, or fall time, the fog, winter time, the snow. So it's predictable that you're going to be on weather hold quite, quite regularly. When you travel out here, you just deal with it. It's some of the most beautiful scenes I've ever seen. You get the rivers, the vast rivers and the snaking rivers and flying into Russian mission to see these, this hillside village, I was in awe of the beauty. So you're doing like a windshield survey of, of what the community looks like. I had never expected that I was going to get a meeting with the whole city council, that they would have held a special session. There is a serious substance abuse to drug and alcohol problem. Pills. Pills and marijuana. As long as it's a pill, they'll try it. Bust it up. Alcohol and drugs. Substance abuse and alcohol are a common theme. They were very open with her. Um, so that's a great asset that she has that she's already gained a lot of trust. A lot of tuberculosis case management for different villages and some sexually transmitted disease. You know, what we do is if somebody tests positive, we call them, we try to find their contacts. Everything is completely confidential. <laughs> Well, things like suicide prevention and immunization rates and drug and alcohol and violence to improve long term. It's about the community being engaged and having strong leadership and having strong community participation. It's not just about a single sole public health nurse coming and changing the world. These people don't need changing. They just need support. Look what I got. You know what these are? something easy and simple to give, provide to somebody just to remind them that it's important about oral hygiene and with a child what's more fun than something that's glittery and bright and shiny. Who's going to brush your teeth tonight? Me. So she's eight weeks and she hasn't had a well child yet. She brought this newborn baby in, two months old, had never seen a pediatrician, had never had any immunizations done, um, had had this rash and antibiotic and so um, concerned. Often many of these young mothers feel like they're going to get in trouble if they haven't done everything exactly right. So it was really nice to be able to bring her in and do some education, encourage her to come back, establish that relationship, and let her feel comfortable with us here. And her little head will be stronger, okay, so that's real important. It's a very close-knit community, um, Delta Y. And I love that, I really do. Most people on this planet are living the urban experience. This is, I mean, pick a compass point. If you can walk it, take a dog team, take a snow machine, take a boat, you can pick a compass point and go. There's no fences, but you can just go and you don't have to tell anybody. <laughs> you don't have to get permission. It's that kind of life, it's freedom.
have to haul your own stuff to the dump? Yeah. Okay. Do they, yeah, how do you burn it? The people capture my heart. And uh, even with all the issues and concerns and the, and the problems out there, they're good, decent people. And they want to do better. And along the way, baby steps have happened. And you can connect. And it makes you go back in, inside of yourself and say, wow, I did make a difference. I love a lot of different things about my job, but that's, that's the most thing. I think it's just the people. Tomorrow at 9.30, we have a TV teleconference. Bethel is very much a grounding place. Everyone accepts you for who you are, and you are able to use your strengths and your talents in the community. The people here are amazing. They're so friendly and nice and warm and inviting. And you can walk up to Pinky's Park and get invited or recruited to a softball game. You'll have native people and young people and doctors and lawyers and everybody coming together on that same level. And it's like that with all the activities here. Public health nursing in Alaska is awesome. It's fantastic and I recommend it, but with a lot of thought. Um, it will push you and it will make you cry and it will make you frustrated and it will make you think, what have I done? But the rewards are amazing. The range of experience here is very broad and I, I do believe that you can get a lot more experience here than in a lot of other places. You know, when I was in school, my teachers always said, go to where the work is. You know, there are, there are health systems that are flooded with people who are qualified. And to get good experience, go to where the work is and Bethlehem is where the work is. If you're just focusing on the individual, you're just band-aiding that one person. But if you look at the whole community and work through the systems, you can make big things happen that way. If there is any issues with water or sanitation or indoor air quality. I didn't have a very good understanding. I thought I would just be giving shots in the clinic and that's not at all. Public health nursing looks at a larger scope it looks at the community and the needs through the different stages of life. Just be prepared. Everybody comes and they look at the prices and they gasp. It's just if you want it, buy it and don't think about it. You know, it's not worth it because things are very expensive here. Do you remember how we were talking about, about this having some of the best water in the, in the Delta? So you could choose real water or purchase your water. I'm going to drink it. Many people look, think about Alaska as this romantic adventure and, um, you know, the last frontier. And it is. It is those things. But it's also a very hard place to live, especially being out in the bush, out off the road system. Um, it's a challenge. Living in Alaska will really um, let you figure out what your strengths are. Um, it shows you what your weaknesses are. Um, and I believe living out in the bush really lets you know who you are as a person. I'm looking for someone that really embraces the culture, wants an adventure, is just that free spirit that's willing to come out and do things a little different, but actually respect and learn about the culture here and not try to change it. If you're thinking about coming to Alaska, coming out here to Bethel, just just be flexible, be fluid, go with the flow. That's my best advice because anything can happen at any time and if you are flexible, it'll all happen, it'll all fall into place and you will have an extraordinary experience. That You really will, the time of your life.